Right, hello everyone, how are you doing? Right, we are talking, we are late at the party, we are talking about triple threat. We're talking about uh, the fans going back in the stadium, HMRC, and Mike Ashley putting a lawsuit against the Premier League on top of the arbitration. So we've got a lot of rattle through. <laughs> We're going to begin with the fans going back to the ground. I think it's brilliant news. I actually do. I really think it's positive news. We're getting back to just normal life. I'll try and keep it football orientated the best I can for this bit. But like meeting Johnny the other day to do the preview, chatting in the car, we couldn't do that because of restrictions. And now things are starting to open up. I want to do more and more. And I hope the rest of the lads start doing more and more videos outside off StreamYard. StreamYard's great for match days. But want to start doing more stuff. But what I'm trying to get at is we're trying to get back to normal life. And fans going back to the stadium. We could have up to 10,000 at St. James's Park on Wednesday against Sheffield United. Now, first thing first. People are squabbling already, I've seen on Thursday. Because people weren't rewarded in... The club aren't gonna, they can't please anybody, everybody, they can't. So what the club have decided to do is they have rewarded and put priority for people who are paying for this season, which I actually think is the right thing to do, because they have paid so many direct debits going into hundreds and they haven't been able to get a game. I think that's right. They've also rewarded people who have not asked for a refund, but asked for credit. Now I fall into this category. I don't think that's right. But I'm fortunate and lucky to fall in that category because I actually think loyalty points should have been rewarded more. But I actually also, also fall into that category because I can select almost any game, almost any game I can get to now. However, they've gone for that way. It's upset a little bit of people, but they kind of please everybody. Going into the game then, again, Sheffield United with fans going in. There's people already saying on Twitter, and you can't even please everybody. People are saying, well, this is the perfect time to boycott. Doesn't really prove anything for me. I don't think it's the right game to choose for a boycott if you are going to do it. Because this is a game where your fans are going back. It's kind of like a... Not a celebration, but it's joy, joy to be back. Supporting the club that you live and breathe and love and hate and die for. So for fans to be criticised, if they get selected to go back to support their team, I think that's bang out of order, me. I do. I think that's bang out of order. But also, on the flip side, this is the perfect opportunity to vent your frustration against Mike Ashley, but more importantly, Steve Bruce for the way the football has been played this season. This is the perfect opportunity for those fans, if selected. Now, if, I, if I'm lucky enough to get selected... I don't want to stand up and sing on my own. And I think there's a way to do it as well. I don't want to see daft stuff where it's aggressive enough like the Man United fans at Old Trafford. I think I was wrong by the ESL clubs. Totally granted. There's a way to do it. If there is protests outside St. James's Park, I'm all for it. But doing it in the right way. So, But this is the perfect time to get in the stadium. For those who want to get in there and vent your frustration, sing about the disharmony and the crap performances... And the shit show that it is with Steve Bruce is not a manager that we want. Don't want to see people doing aggressively. They can sing. Make their, this is the chance for people to have their voice heard. I respect people if they don't want to. I respect people if they want to go back and enjoy the football. But I'm going to look for a singing section where I want to vent my frustration. That's just my personal opinion on that. But it's in, in overall circumstances, going back to the positives, I think it's brilliant that fans are getting back to football. I miss them. I love the way days more than the home games. I've said that all the time. Because mine are sometimes two day events. Um, I cannot wait to get back to normal life, man. Get back to going to support the club. Home and away. And it's it's great that you can watch it on TV and every Premier League games broadcast. But next season in the UK, that won't be the case. But moving off that story. I want to know what you think on that. Moving on to the next story. HMRC have dropped their case against Newcastle United. Um, which was interesting because Mike Ashley is trying to play the hero here. Put it on screen for you. Listen to this. After four years of the club being subjected to this investigation, I am pleased it is now discontinued. It is now time for the dark forces that are preventing this football club from becoming the powerhouse that fans deserve to step aside. Had a minute. Had a minute. Just pause there. Just pause. Dark forces 
to allow the club and the fans to have what they want. Where the fuck has Mike Ashley been the last 14 years with this football club? He? He's the villain. And our HMRC have dropped it and it's fantastic against the against the club. I think that's positive, right? Because the last thing you want is fucking something stupid like a point reduction or a big massive fine. But for Mike Ashley to come out, the biggest hypocrite of them all, to come out and say, I'm a hero, it's kind of not so much a hero, he's basically saying, oh, stop the club from progressing. It's Mike fucking Ashley who's actually stopped, have I said that right? Mike Ash- I can't even speak now. It's Mike Ashley who's actually been the one preventing us from qualifying, trying to chase for European positions, trying to compete, and I say trying to compete in a, in a, in a European trophy or a, a domestic trophy. It's him. It's him who hasn't been ploughing the money in. It's him who's made the daft appointment. It's him who's had stupid sponsors, stupid stadium name changes, the treatment of former players. I could go on the land outside St. James Park. There's loads and loads and loads that you can go on about, right? I thought I was a fucking hypocrite and a half. Like, I couldn't believe that. But on the positive, on the positive, the case has dropped, which has dropped. And we're moving on to the final one, which Mark Douglas tweeted out that Mike Ashley, him again, talked about him a lot today. Mike Ashley, I'm not going to get in that stadium because the club will look at this. <laughs> nope, not him. Mike Ashley has came out and put a lawsuit with his lawyers and what have you against the Premier League. And this isn't to anything to do with the arbitration. This is totally separate. Totally separate away from it. So the arbitration is still going on behind the scenes. But Ashley is now putting something against the Premier League. And he's putting in a lawsuit against the Premier League for anti-competition. Now you can see all the documents. But will Ashley win this? What's he trying to get achieved? What's he trying to get out of this? Is he trying to get some money back? I think he probably might get some money back in one of the two cases. However, is he just trying to force the takeover? Is it another thing on top of the Premier League? More pressure on the Premier League? More on Richard Masters to break? Is it something to fall back on if the arbitration fails? I don't know. He's, 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 he seems like... He, what he's ha- Well, we know he's had enough. We've known that for years. He's had enough... He wants out. He wants away with it. Right? Which is only can only be positive for us eventually when that happens. But I also think it's seeking desperation at the same time. Because he's just trying to throw everything at it. Whether you think that's a positive or a good thing. I think it is. It does come across as a little bit desperate. But he wants out of the club. It can only be a good thing that the more that actually puts pressure on the Premier League. On Richard Masters. The powers that be. The arbitration. It can only be good for us as fans. Him coming out as a hero earlier on, fucking no chance. No chance is he a hero. But the more more stuff that they put on the Premier League, it helps to try and get Mike Ashley away from St. James's Park, out the club, and we can have a potential new owner. Whether it's the Saudis, who knows what happens. That's another video for another day. I mean, I've already said that I would take someone who doesn't plough as much money into the club as long as they communicate with the fans. It's a fucking huge progression for me. Uh, and now all the fan base, obviously, but what ideal world had a magic wand? You had the Saudis come in and spend left, right, and centre. But I'd gra- I'd probably take somebody who, who would communicate with the fans and interact with the fans and bring the fans in. You know what I mean? But we'll say it's, it's pressure. It's pressure on Ashley. It's pressure on him trying to get out. It's pressure on the Premier League. I'm all for it. Absolute chaotic on Thursday. Hmm. Madness. Madness. Let us know what you think on this. I'm sure. You will be talking about it in the comments. We've seen it all over Facebook. We've seen it all over our Twitter page as well. Everyone's talking about it. It died off the last 24 hours. Hence why this video is going out late. Because we had the preview on Thursday of the match yesterday. In this, in an ideal world, we'd love to sit here and say the takeover has gone through. And we're going to you know, buy left, right and centre. And improve the training facilities and what have you. But in all honesty, just to try and get Mike Ashley out of the club. The more pressure that he puts on and gets away with Newcastle. Some people might say, better the, better the devil you know who comes in after. Worry about that later on. Worry about that later. Just try and get him out of the club so we can have a bit of hope back. But there you go. There you go. Let us know what you lot think. Tell everyone. Watch what it's a Dean. Bye-bye.